ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another vlog. Welcome to Car Free 458. Today we are selling the antiques. Well, maybe not. On a little bit more special and sportier, sportier way, to be quite honest. Again, the same routine. Weekend, early morning. <clears throat> uh, I just had my coffee, so let me try to do this quickly so I'm trying to shorten the videos and I'll try to be as fast as possible around the car and then a couple of flybys that you could see and uh, you know a little bit of a drive and that, that's it you know let's try to keep it you know short and sweet so Volvo usually people associated with Volvo are the old guys who like the antiques and all the other stuff it's a synonym for the safety but this one as I said it's a bit more special it's not just any Volvo it's a Volvo made by Polestar so a lot of you might be aware of the Polestar as the company who makes the electric cars but before they enter that kind of uh, electric you know fancy schmancy thing and they decided to be you know kind of uh, environmental they used to be a subdivision of the Volvo they used to be a AMG of Volvo they used to be M of Volvo right or the RS of Volvo who makes their sports cars uh, you know who makes their racing cars hence they decided to make the limited edition of V60 station wagon that we have today in front of us um, as a matter of fact I've been having this car for a few days now so I was testing the car um, driving in a different um, you know circumstances nonetheless a couple of different uh, things that this car has compared to the normal V60 station wagon um, are 20 inch rims that I really do like as you can see so before I was rudely interrupted <laughs> um, 20 inch rims that I really do like um, with the uh, Polestar calipers the big one I think the uh, brake discs are 320 uh, that's the first thing that is different and then we have this a little bit angrier look uh, from the front with some of the Polestar badges on you know on the grill uh, another thing that is different is the back <clears throat> where you have a different kind of a flying spoiler or the wing whatever you want to call it which you don't have on the normal one uh, definitely another Polestar badge those ones are like literally across the, the, the vehicle and then you have this nice uh, diffuser at the, at, the, at the bottom with uh, Polestar exhaust pipes which you could hear from the cold start my apologies for the car the car was washed but you can see what the humidity is doing um, these days so that's from the outside I mean a normal station wagon V60 a little bit uh, you know uh, adjusted from those split uh, spoilers and then you know the badges and the exhaust system diffuser as I mentioned uh, plus it has the sport suspension so it's really sitting low as you can see from the from the back I don't know I can literally put no I cannot put even two of my fingers here so yeah one literally one finger 
so it has been lowered down uh, post star suspension as I mentioned and let's see from inside before we kick off inside is pretty uh, you know nicely done a pole star here a nice and comfy seats and yet very supportive uh, a mixture of the of the leather and alcantara with a blue stitching i think this came with all uh, the trims over there same here <coughs> alcantara you know uh stitching the blue stitching basically uh, this part is the only one that they still have it from the from the from the ford um going inside let me just close the car it's so hot and humid so being inside here um, steering wheel uh, leather Alcantara uh, I like that combo a lot of people they don't I like the combo I don't like the size of the steering wheel my opinion it's a little bit too big ish and not sporty enough but that's my opinion um, definitely a floppy pedals here that work <laughs> for the for the change um harman kardon uh sound system across the the, the car um very familiar a central console from the from the volvo a little bit outdated for 2016 but if you compare the prices when it came out and all these things and even the prices nowadays this is a very very affordable uh car um and it's a good value for the money you know um yes it has that kind of a drawback of having a volvo badge for most of the people but then again up until you don't try it you don't know um as i said also there you go a gear lever has the pole star kind of um i don't even know that the, the engraving inside that that's the the gear lever again a lot of stitching here um seats very comfy as i mentioned the infotainment is maybe a little bit too small for the year it's a 2016 um which is very important to mention right it's a 2016 don't forget about that we're gonna get back to that so as i said a very good place to sit <clears throat> uh, in the car and then another reminder engineered by polestar so it's, it's 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 everywhere volvo really wanted to let you know that you know hey this car is not an ordinary volvo um plenty of space in the back as i oh, as i'm you know 185 um you know headroom um, as well as the legroom here this is how i'm sitting in front so you know a black um, ceiling as well the um, air vents for the ac here um, which i really like usually people uh, you know the manufacturers they're putting it here so the volvo guys they decided to put it on the side panels um, which is pretty great and um, being a station wagon well being a station wagon means it has a very uh, decent boot um, which I'm trying to open and let's see if I can do it with a key maybe not there you go a very very uh, nice and then you know there's enough space spare wheel down here um, and then this flap as well that you can pull and you can put in here one second on the top there you go this is how it should be so yeah a very decent space <clears throat> All right, um, let's get into the internal organs, engine. So yeah, I mentioned it's 2016, right? Very important. 
it has a three liter straight inline six cylinder engine producing a 350 horsepower um, it has enough torque more than the newer models which is very important because the newer models they are the two liter four cylinder uh, turbocharged and supercharged this one is only turbocharged uh, basically and is tuned by the Polestar hence it has 350 horsepower compared to the 360 or 80 uh, with the newer models but it has more torque that's the first thing and it has a six cylinders you know if even if you want to count bam 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 right so basically a better sound my opinion uh, and you know it, it feels it feels uh, you know more musclish if you want to call it like you know um, the sound is there and then you know um, it has a, a, a better torque so less horsepower compared to the uh, competitors such as the BM M3 or uh, you know uh, RS models RS4 um, which is kind of uh, in the same range uh, but yeah it was uh, around 55,000 euros when it came out um, which is a lot of money but you know nowadays you can get a good one for let's say 25 ish so it's a half of the price 25,000 euros um, or um, 120,000 ish dirhams the price might go up uh, considering that this is the limited edition uh, well sort of a limited edition right um, and as I said like this 2016 uh, was the last one before they started doing the uh, four cylinder engines uh, with a turbocharged turbo and a supercharge basically uh, so 750 uh, were made in total so Volvo consciously limited the production of these uh, not that you could have more than 750 people probably to buy the Volvo because you really need to um, experience the car you really need to drive the car in order to understand why is this different than the ordinary V60 as I said it's more stiffer it's more agile it's more responsive uh, it's better sounding car has more power it's faster it's quicker and so on and so forth right in the community uh, nonetheless let's try um, 0 to 60 uh, and then we're gonna wrap up the uh, uh, video so the factory claims 5.2 uh, 0 to 60 let's see sport mode oh left foot on the brake seconds so slightly more uh, nonetheless it's a big car right so it's very very quick so I, I, I wouldn't say that it's, it's fast I didn't go to the track and whatnot to see the top speed and the stuff but it's quick it's pretty agile for the as I said for a station wagon for something that you can go on a road trip and uh, you know still have that kind of a comfort not the full comfort of the of the Volvo but you still have that comfort more than some other guys in the same um, segment so yeah let's head over home and then we're gonna sign out all right guys back to base again safe and sound 
Um, yeah, I mean, let me know what you think. Volvo, you know, um, Polestar collaboration thingy. Um, as I said, Polestar is now um, a separate company. So they do make a fancy schmancy electric cars, Polestar 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, whatever it is. Um, Volvo is left with no, you know, kind of a sport division and whatnot. But then, yeah, probably there'll be some collab in the future. <clears throat> Let me know what you think about this Volvo. Um, is it like a ultimate sleeper that you can see on the road? And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Carfreak458. Peace.